Hi, I'm Tracy. Hi, I'm Ashley. And this is our son, Henry. And, and we, we are, are Homestead Homies. homies. And, and you're, you're watching... Oh, good! Getting dizzy. Alarm crews here. What's up? Hey, brother. Hey, hey is that Henry? Henry. Hello, Henry. Hi, Henry. Man, he is so cute. Good to see you. Hey. What's up, guys? Hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you. If you guys haven't heard uh, Farm Alarm. Uh, they live actually by us, not too far, so it was a good little day ride up for them. And, uh, and couldn't you, ask for a better day. It's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. day today. Yeah. Hold on, Henry. We're talking to the camera. Everybody's watching say you. Hi. So you have to say be hi. A good boy. Wave. Say hi. Everyone's watching you right there. See well, everybody a kiss. Go like this. Go. Say hi. I'm Henry. Say it. Can you blow him a kiss? Go. <laughs> so he grows a lot of blackberries on his place, and he reached out to us and was like, "Hey, do you guys want to maybe have some more blackberries?" And we have the thornless variety, or the thorn variety, and you have the thornless, right? That's correct. Hold on so he was like, yeah, we'd like to come up, spend some time with you. So uh, he's up here today. We're going to hang out. We're going to plant some blackberries. Uh, they brought Henry, which, of course, they have to. <laughs> he's a good boy, and uh, they have a good channel. It's called Farm Alarm. We'll leave all the descriptions, uh, in, uh, links in the description box below. But right now, I think we're going to jump right into planting these uh, blackberries. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Let's go. Getting the blackberries in by the blackberry professional. So you want to space these uh, about four or five feet per row, you know, and then you want to put them in probably like, what do you say, about a foot or two, I think, probably yeah, at least two feet. A couple foot apart. A couple of put a foot apart in the row. So he brought these from his homestead. And I like to get a little big kind of a hole going so that way all the roots can do their thing and if you guys didn't see his video he just did a video about pulling these out of his rows and he, he had some good tips in there I'll link the video um, actually one thing that he said in there uh, that I'd never really even took into consideration so you guys go watch that video and then uh, that'll give you a good idea what I'm talking about how long have you been growing blackberries at your place uh, since 2013 all right so he's four years at it and I know if you're watching and you live on the West Coast, you're not really into putting in blackberries. You're trying to kill them and we're trying to grow them. I get it. So what we're lining this hole with uh, around the blackberry shoot is Clydesdale compost from Budweiser. Oh, nice. So that'll give it a good start. Yep, and it's, it's really not a hot compost either. Right, it looks very earthy and, and muddy and dirty. It looks like good topsoil. Good deal. And then what I like to do for um, a tip for you guys is when I replace the sod back on top, if I'm going to use it to uh, put around the plant, I always place it upside down so that way the roots won't reconnect to the soil. And that'll also kill the grass on the other side and create, this is some clover right here, so it'll create some nitrogen uh, for the soil to give the plant a good start. How do you like that tip? It's a great one. <laughs> 
I just made it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, so if you guys haven't checked out uh, Farm Alarm, uh, he has a, a channel on YouTube. He's a homestead homie. He subscribes to our channel. And we talk quite a bit on the phone and stuff. And, uh, um, you know, it was kind of cool that he brought these out. We, he, we're spending time today uh, with our families and stuff and, and talking about all kinds of stuff. So what, what's mostly you got going on on your channel? Well, you know, we're just kind of trying to focus on uh, modern homesteading. You know, we're not off-grid like Doug and Stacy are, but we do live out in the country. And, you know, we're, we're trying to be uh, a little more self-sufficient, more sustainable than, you know, just the average American who just goes to the grocery store. Yeah. And, you know, it, you can't always rely on someone else for your food. Yeah. So we've got some chickens, uh, and we, we raise those over a Back to Eden garden. Uh, during off season, they live on the, the back to Eden garden, and you know the, they'll till it, they'll scratch it, and uh, and compost it as well, and you know put their manure in there, which in turn will just fertilize the uh, the ground for for come come uh, spring for our new plants. Uh, we've got a greenhouse, so uh, we just put that up, and I think that will uh, that will definitely help us you know eat eat more year round uh, fresh fresh vegetables. So that's that's a lot of fun too, and, and of course the blackberries were. You know, we're really trying to get big into that. Uh, you know, not too big. I guess, I guess, on a small scale, we'd be big. But uh, we're just putting in a fifth 80-foot row, and uh, these are Apache thornless blackberries, and they are a, an erect style blackberry. Yeah. So, so you really don't need a trellis for them, uh, but you know, a little bit might help. Yeah, that's good. And how do you think your uh, you have a two-year-old son? How is he enjoying the farm life? He loves it. I, I don't think that. Uh, He's cut out to be a city boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll keep getting these in. All right, so we're on hole number three. He actually brought us out seven of these plants, which works out pretty good because uh, we have seven plants in our first row. So this will be seven plants in our second row. In our first row, we do have six of the thorn blackberries, and we wanted to kind of move away from those. So it was really cool that he had the thornless blackberries. And um, so we'll get berries off of these this year, huh? Uh, well, not exactly. Uh, Doug, a lot, of, a lot of people don't know that these are actually uh, a biannual plant. Uh, what that means is this year, well, let's take for instance, you have a blueberry bush. And the right. way a blueberry bush works is it's going to be a bush for its entire lifetime until it dies off. And it's always going to produce those blueberries. Well, this plant here, uh, like I said, is a biannual. So this year, this, this shoot, this plant is actually called a primocane. And so the only thing that it has to do this year, other than continue to grow a root system, is to, to get tall, to grow a stalk and leaves. And then that's preparing itself next year to be able to, per, uh, to produce that fruit. And so, like I said, this is called a, a, a primal cane, and next year it's going to be called a floral cane. And it, it's called a floral cane because it's going to produce flowers in the springtime, and, and those flowers are going to fall off, and it's going to be left with a bud. And that bud there will turn into your your blackberry and produce your fruit. Yeah. So basically, these plants have like a two-year life. They they rise up, they create the flowers, they create the the greens. But in the process, they're also sending out their roots to make more offshoots. So every time you see one pop up, it's going to have a two-year lifespan, and it's also at the same time growing and reaching out and trying to grow another primal cane. That's right. And right. so you know, a lot of your viewers might be saying, well. Is it only going to produce fruit every other year since it's a two-year plant? Right. Well, what's going to happen is, a while ago I mentioned it's going to also have a job of growing a root system. Well, whenever it's next year, when it's a prime, or when it's a floral cane, that root system is going to pop up new shoots, just like these were new right. shoots off of my root system. And so you'll have a continual plant basis, and you'll you'll have your continual fruit all the time, unless you mess them up. <laughs> all right, we're going to keep moving down the line. This is a plant that I actually dug up this morning and uh, just a few hours back. We were talking about that root system that's going to grow. Well, sometimes you can't control it not growing out of the rows. Of course, you want it to grow within your row and so it keeps producing plants. Well, what can happen is once your, your root system gets too big, it's going to just, it's going to go everywhere. So it's going to go in places that you don't want it. There's a few things you can do. You can dig those up, transplant them back into your row if you have room. If not, you can give them to friends or sell them on Craigslist. And that root system is what we're seeing here. So we had, you know, our main row over here, and that root system kind of come along, 
and as it's growing it continues to come out look at that little guy free worm right there and so as it's coming out it says well this will be a good spot to grow up this shoot so what we're looking at here is that root system coming in and then it pops up a new shoot so oh another thing is you wouldn't want to plant it like this because that root is already here and it's trained to go a direction and you want it to continue in line with your row. All right, cool. Well, we got those uh, seven plants in. We're going to make sure we water them pretty good, at least for the first, you know, week. I mean, make not every day like a bunch of times, but just keep an eye on them. Don't let them dry out. Uh, we're supposed to get some rain in the next couple days. So if we don't, then I'll be out here watering them maybe in the morning and then a little bit at night. I don't want to water too much at nighttime. Might promote some fungus and stuff like that. Give them time to dry out just a little bit. But just kind of keep an eye on baby them. But um, blackberries are pretty hardy, wouldn't you say? They are hardy. You know, whenever uh, a few things that you need to do to keep them hardy and from freezing over in the winter is, you know, keep them pruned down. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're talking, uh, you know, springtime, they're going to continue to grow. And they can grow so big where they're actually just going to break. Whenever they get to about four to five foot, and that depends if you have a trellis system or not, when they get about four or five foot, you're going to want to do what's called tipping them. You're going to cut that very tip off, and that's going to stunt that plant's growth until it don't grow any more vertically. And then in turn, what it's also going to do is it's going to tell it to start growing out its lateral shoots. It's going to put more energy production in your laterals. So you're going to want to cut those off about 18 inches. And even if you cut them off at 18 inches, they're probably still going to grow and you'll have to continue to, to prune during the winter time as well. But it's always good not to wait just until winter. You want to, as they're growing, you're going to want to prune, prune them during that time too. Yeah, I've seen some people grow blackberries kind of like grapes. You know, they'll bring them up and then they'll have um, supports uh, wire going down mm -hmm. and then they'll wrap them around that out to 18 inches and then it'll look just almost like a grapevine. Yep. Cool. So did you get dirty? A little dirty, but that's what life's all about. That's right. And we know you guys, if you watch our channel, you know darn good and well, uh, we promote getting dirty out in the garden and being dirty. Um, it's very healthy for you. So I think right now we're going to um, all get together, sit down, have a little chat, and uh, maybe enjoy some of that special meal that we have when people come by. All right. So that's cool. So like <laughs> I said, if any of you guys have kids, you understand what they're going through. I mean, he's two years old. He's all over the place exploring new sights, new sounds. Everything's just fresh and exciting. So he's all over it. Yeah, he, and likes he loves walnuts. walnuts. That's good. <laughs> walnuts are very good. They have lots of omega threes, and all of you guys should be eating walnuts if you can, because they are very healthy for you. So, are you planning to homeschool too when he gets older? Yes, that's yeah. our plan. We're kind of working on it now. Right. He's flash, so flash smart. He can use count to twenty. Yeah. 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 On the mini trampoline, he was doing good. Yeah. Yeah, he counts numbers and backwards and forwards and everything. So. Yeah, he's going to be a, a smart kid. Oh, sponge, yeah. total Super picks smart. up everything you say. That's why you need to let him watch more Off Grid with Tug and Stacey. Yeah, yeah. he'll learn how to, <laughs> he'll learn how to build a house. <laughs> cool, yeah. man. So all their um, information is down in the Show More tab. Go check out their channel if you haven't. It's called Farm Alarm. They're basically growing a sustainable uh, homestead where they're growing more of their own food, teaching Henry how to um, graze chickens and grow his own food. You'll see Henry out in the garden on their channel, and uh, he's pretty fun to watch. So... Um, he likes to play in the dirt like we all do, so that's good. Yeah, so you guys go watch their channel, catch up with them, and uh, get to know them. Watch my channel! Yeah, watch our channel, that's right. And uh, you guys get to know them, and then uh, you'll see Henry grow up and learn how to do his uh, homesteading, farming, and stuff. Henry, come over here and tell come everybody. Come on, we're going to say goodbye. Say off grid with Doug and Stacy. Can on, you say bye. it? Bye! Stay over here. Can you say off grid with Doug and Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget, we're going to be at Google Baker Creek. Nuts. We're going to be at Baker Creek Seed Company uh, May seventh and eighth, one thirty and two thirty, Sunday and Monday. So until we see you guys on the next video, say bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. what he said. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.